ChatGPT has the ability to search the internet with its web browsing feature. But as we know, it's not as effective as it used to be. Typically, when we provide links like this, it doesn't actually grab the data from the link. Rather, it kind of gives us a turnaround answer that isn't really relevant to what we asked. So much so that we'll get direct answers that say that it can't actually access the website due to restrictions. So in today's video, we're going to find out how we can get around this. I'm going to give you three different types of articles, and I'm going to show you how to actually get the information within the articles, therefore allowing you to access any link found on the internet. The first type of article will be a news article from Bloomberg. The second type of article is going to be a data oriented article, and we're actually going to be able to extract those tables. And the final article here will be a travel based article. We're going to be able to get all this information, compile it and actually start using links within ChatGPT. Knowing this, let's go ahead and jump in today's video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a feature that currently exists within ChatGPT, but over time has actually gotten worse. If you're familiar with the web browsing feature in the early days, it was really good. And we were able to basically provide any link on the internet, actually get relevant information from that link and, you know, get answers we want. Now, some of y'all might be asking, Corbin, how did it actually get worse over time? And the real reason is due to legal implications. I forget when this happened, but there was a lot of legal backlash when it came to providing a link and getting the relevant information from that link. Therefore, OpenAI has actually taken a couple steps back when it came to their web browsing feature, making it weaker. Probably haven't publicly said this, but this is the real reason why. Because at the end of the day, there is other platforms that you're able to provide a link and actually get the relevant information within that link. It's just that OpenAI wants to take a safer route. I mean, they're a big company. Can you blame them? Therefore, let's actually see how we can use this feature now with this new version. Just to prove it to you from this article here, our first example here, this talks about the slowdown in US electric vehicle sales looks more like a blip. I went ahead and proctored ChatGPT to ask that relevant question here, but notice in the actual sources it gave, it doesn't even reference the Bloomberg article. Bradley, Motor Biscuit, what is a Motor Biscuit? <laughs> Following up with that, asked ChatGPT to give me information from that specific link, and it supposedly did, but if you come down here, I asked for a very specific quote within the article. It provided me with a quote, but it wasn't even from the article. It was from NADA. If I hit Command F here, it doesn't even exist. So this just shows you the limitations of the current web browsing feature. Let's see how we get around that. In order to get around this, we're actually gonna use one of ChatGPT's other powerful tools here, which is its ability to attach files. So let's go ahead and begin. I am not sure if this kind of store exists within Safari, or Firefox, or Edge. Let me know in the comments if it does, but I am aware that Google Chrome has the ability to add plugins, or I think they're called apps. The app we're gonna look for in today's video is gonna be one that takes a web page and makes it into a PDF. So I'm gonna do web page to PDF. Now choose whichever one that you're most comfortable with. I'm currently gonna use save web page as PDF as I originally was using this one, but I was running into issues recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one. All I'm gonna do is simply click the button up here that says add to Chrome. And then once you have it added to Chrome, the utility of this plugin is simply gonna convert any web page into a PDF. Now, anyone that uses any other type of browser like Safari or Firefox, let people know in the comments if there is an equivalent to this to help them out. Once you have this extension, you can simply just add it to your little top bar here and start using it. We have this article here. We wanna get relevant information. Let's proceed. Now let's go ahead and leverage that extension we just installed. So we're gonna look up here. It's gonna be this option right here. I'm gonna simply just click it. When I click it, it's gonna to proceed to take screenshots of every section of this page and make a PDF for us. While that's making the PDF of the web page, let's actually use a GPT that is specialized for PDFs. I'm gonna come down here to research analysis and we're gonna click PDF reader. I'm gonna leave this in the description down below, completely free to use. This actually was made by myself, so you can check it out. I'm gonna hit start chat. So we got our PDF of the web page, and you might be saying, Corbin, this doesn't look so good. The orientation seems a little off, you know, like this looks a little bit crazy. Don't worry. And the day when ChatGPT looks at this, it's purely looking at it in a data perspective to find the relevant information that we care about. Therefore, we're good to go. Let's go in and search for a very specific question to prove to you this works. I'm simply going to add the attachment here. Upload from computer. As we saw from the earlier example here, we know it wasn't able to give us an exact quote because it wasn't actually reading the article. Reality wise is probably looking at the link in the metadata, just saw the title and then made an inference off that. But this is actually going to look at the article. So we're going to ask, give me an exact quote from this article. Hit enter. Now, if you're looking for an entire video dedicated to absolutely leveraging this PDF attachment feature, check out that right there. I made it yesterday. I went over four different types of PDFs and show you how to leverage each one. But here we go. Let's see if this is correct. I'm going to simply come over here and copy. I'm going to hit command F again, command V. And that's what I'm talking about. It found an exact quote proving to us as actually reading the information. So then we can ask relevant questions for articles that we care about using ChatGPT. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. Subscribe. 
Let's check out the other two articles. For this article, I just want to show you the really cool ability for us to extract data and make tables with it based off web pages. Let's convert this. We are converting. Here we go. We have the article into PDF format. Let's ask a very specific question to prove to you this kind of feature works. I'm gonna simply hit Wednesday 529. Coming back over to our PDF reader here, we're gonna attach the file. Now let's go ahead and extract this very specific data here. I'm gonna give all the relevant companies found within Wednesday and hit enter. Now what's super cool here is we're actually creating a downloadable CSV we can leverage elsewhere. It's gonna confirm that this is actually the correct information though. So Abercrombie & Fitch, $1.70 per share. $1.70 per share. Chewy, Chewy, 0 0.04 cents. 0.04 cents and so on. So this looks like it's correct data here. On top of this, we can actually download this. Simply ask, can I download this? And there we go. We have our earning estimate CSV. Let's click it and there we go. Extract it into a table and then put into a CSV. Now there is a lot more we can do when it comes to this kind of feature. If you want to see that, I did a video a couple of days ago going over everything we can do there. Check it out. You may find more value there when it comes to actually how to leverage an Excel sheet, spreadsheet, CSV sheets, and everything above the board when it comes to ChatGPT's interface. Well, let's jump into the last article here. Last article is kind of a fun one. We're going to Japan. And I actually plan on going to Japan maybe later this year or early next year. So let's go ahead and make this a PDF. Now that it has a PDF, let's go ahead and attach it. Now this encompasses over 30 different suggestions. Let's see if that actually shows up on ChatGPT's end. I'm going to go ahead and say, how many things are there to do in Japan from the PDF? It should list out 30. Let's go ahead and see how it does its output here. And there we go. It actually worked perfectly. 30 different attractions and activities from that PDF. And coming all the way down here, we can see that there was 30 suggestions. And from here, we can actually like keep going. For example, make me a table of the activity, title, and description. Hit enter. And then it probably will look through its own database. Also, the value that we provided or the data we provided and kind of formulate something cool here. So we're going to go ahead and proctor this a little bit further here to use its own abilities on top of the PDF. So we say, go ahead and use your own knowledge and capabilities to create this table and use the 30 activities as suggested. I know it is about everything right, but ChatGPT can understand. And this right here is what makes ChatGPT super cool as when we look at the original data that we saw from that article, for example, when we look at Mount Fuji, which I may have butchered on the way you say that, we can see that we have the relevant title, but not additional information. We come down here and we can see that we get even a little bit more description. Obviously, I could have proctored it to give me like more pricing, timing, everything that we would want to know when it comes to these activities based off that web page. That just about does it in today's video. Now we know how to take any link, extract data, and actually get relevant data found on that link. Because right now, when you do it just the traditional way, we're not actually getting real information and it's kind of just grabbing at straws. Make sure to check out the little freebie. In the description down below, this should allow you to get more effective answers when looking at PDFs. I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end here going over everything you need to know about ChatGPT as we got a lot of news these last two weeks. I'll see you in the next video. That playlist right there goes over everything you need to know about ChatGPT. Everything, Corbin, everything. That video right there is probably gonna be the PDF analysis one. We'll see. That's my face. If you click it, something happens. That's what I've been told, something happens. I'll see you in the next video.